GTF, Kisa, what's good? Another day, another video. GTF was going on, GTF was good. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed, Jack. If you woke up this morning, you are blessed. GTF was good, man. GTF was good, man. We on the roll with it as we speak, y'all. We on the roll with it as we speak right now. GTF, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I was just looking. I was just driving. But I see the billboard as I'm coming up. And this is the Mega Million. Is at one billion dollars. You understand me? One billion dollars. I ain't gonna lie. I don't play the. I don't play the lotto often. I have played it before, but I don't play it often because I don't like to lose money. You feel me? I don't like to lose money and I always feel like I ain't gonna win. That's how I always feel. That's how I always think about it. But I ain't gonna lie. You can't win if you don't try. And I ain't gonna lie. Looking at it saying a billion dollars, I'm definitely considering playing. You understand me? Hold on. Let me see something. When is the next time it comes out? We on the road already. We on the road with it right now, by the way. I'm on my way to Orlando right now to take care of some business. Hold on. Let me pull this lotto thing up. Mega Millions. Next estimated jackpot, $1.5 billion. You understand me? Next drawing is Tuesday, August 1st at 11 p.m. I got time to play. I think I'm going to play this time, boy. $1.5 billion? Sheesh! It says the cash option for that is $527.9 million. Well, that's a lot of taxes that they take out, boy. The jackpot is $1.5 billion. If you win, the cash option is $527.9 million. You understand me? I'm like, what? That's a nice little payday right there, you heard? The boy gonna definitely have to consider pay, uh, playing. Playing this go around before Tuesday, you understand me? But yo, fam, what's good, man? We on the road with it, headed to Orlando to take care of some business. I don't know what we eating yet, but whatever we eat will be between Miami and Orlando, somewhere around there. I haven't figured it out yet, but once I get hungry, uh, I figure I'm going to just start looking at restaurants and uh, where, where, wherever I'm at. So, right now, let me see where we at right now. I ain't going to lie, I've been driving for a little minute. Um, let me see where I'm at, let me see where I'm at. it out i just got off the highway i'm in palm bay florida and i ain't gonna lie you had a, i had some m and turn things. left onto st john's heritage park i was snacking on some m and but yeah fam your boy started getting hungry just got to palm bay florida went to doing my one two thing with the research on google came across this restaurant called divine grace a Caribbean restaurant down here in Palm Bay, Florida. I'm like, you know what? Let's hit them up and see what they're hitting for. You heard? So that's what we headed. We headed to, I believe, it's Divine Grace. You know what I mean? We in Palm Bay, Florida. You heard? Let go! Pulling in right now. All 
right, fam. We here, y'all. Right here, off to the right hand side. We're about to see what this Caribbean food slash Haitian food hidden for me in Palm Bay, y'all. This is my first time in Palm Bay, Florida. I don't know nothing about no Palm Bay, Florida. Alright fam, let's go see what this food hidden for. Divine Grace, Palm Bay, Florida, y'all. We in here. Y'all see what's going on, fam. Y'all see what's going on. Divine Grace. They got that tablet. I don't know if y'all know about tablets. They got them I ain't had a tablet in a minute, boy. A tablet is some Haitian situation, you understand me? I ain't had a tablet in a minute, you understand me? All right, fam. We got the grub, yeah. We got the grub. And y'all already know, grub on site. Don't cause no fight. All right, fam. We in the whip, yard. And we got the grub, yard. All right, fam. Pull out my doors real quick. We're on Palm Bay, Florida. You feel me? Uh, let me turn my AC up. I'm kind of hot. All right, fam. Time to set up Grub to your Mobile Studios. Y'all already know the vibes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wow. Try to hit me with the copyright infringement, bro. Bro, they try to hit me with the copyright infringement, bro. What's going on here, bro? Turn this Bluetooth off. Crazy. You trying to get hit with that? <laughs> Call me by surprise, fam. Call me by surprise. Okay, we got that. We got mass. Uh, believe it or not, I forgot to buy the wipes again. Uh, but you know, the mask is not that bad. But yeah, fam. So I got some Haitian food here at Divine Grace Restaurant in Palm Bay, Florida. I came here, I, it was a tough decision for me between the legging, you feel me, which is a popular Haitian dish, and the griot, which is a Haitian popular dish. I got the griot instead of the legging, because I, I had legging recently, you feel me, on one of the videos with you guys. I'm like, you know, I had, they seen the legging thing recently. I'm like, let me go ahead and get the griot. They had the legging, they had griot, they had turkey necks, Turkey neck, I'm not big on turkey neck. And then they had stew chicken. And I recently had stew chicken too. But like, yeah, let me just get the griot. Griot is the fried pork for those of you who don't know. It comes with fried plantain. I try to get the griot complete, which normally comes with rice and beans, the fried pork, and the and the fried pressed plantains. But they didn't have the, the rice, the, the, the peas and rice wasn't ready. So I just got the griot. I got the pork and the uh, pressed plantain by themselves. That's all I got. You feel me? They gave me a nice amount of food. You feel me? Oh it smells good too. But um, one thing I wanted to say though, I ain't gonna lie. This is the most expensive griot that I have ever purchased, especially for griot that's not complete, meaning that it doesn't have the rice and peas with it or anything. This is the most expensive griot that I have purchased. You feel me? So it's just the the, the pork, the fried pork, and the uh, the pressed plantains, and it cost me twenty two dollars. You heard? That's the most expensive I've ever spent for griot. I mean, I don't know. Maybe in Palm Bay, the cost of living might be higher than it is down here, man. But in Miami, a little bit. You can get a grill complete for like 12 13 dollars so i just came up here to palm bay and spent 22 dollars on some grill it ain't even a complete girl well, i ain't gonna lie the taste of the grill and the press plantain better be hit i ain't even cap with y'all you feel me 22 dollars anyway fam let's pop this thing oh they gave me a side of the peak leaves I ain't too crazy about peekleys like that, so I don't know. If I might try, I might try that. I don't know. I'm not sure. So we got the Rio right here. Guard. Voila. 
All right, fam, that close-up action. These them pressed plantains. The Haitian Creole, we call them bun and pizzy, you heard? Pressed plantains, we call them bun and pizzy. I ain't gonna lie, that bun and pizzy looking fresh. This the grill right here, the fried pork. Y'all see it dressed with them onions and them green peppers and red peppers open on there, you understand me? Grill looking mighty good. Everything is smelling mighty good. You understand me? I can't wait to dig in to dig in this $22 grill, y'all. Gotta pull one for the GTF. Alright, fam. Here it is. Here it is. I feel like the camera's so far away, man. You know, this car, this angle. Turn the AC up. I'm hot. Yeah, this angle. I feel like the camera's so far away, man. But y'all see what's going on, fam. We got the grill on deck, y'all. You know what I mean? Let's play the grill. That fried pork and that bun and peas here. That's the pressed plantain. They give me a side of that peaklees. That peaklees, you understand know me? If you don't know what peaklees is, you better ask the Haitian, you heard? All right, fam, so we got the pressed plantains. Fried pressed plantains. I ain't gonna lie, these are nice and soft. You can tell they fresh. If they be sitting too long, they get hard and cold. These are hot and fresh, nice and soft. You understand me? Hit the bed. Mm-hmm, fresh. F-R-E-S-H. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Yo, that's fresh. Hot and fresh. I'm talking about the plantain. Hot and fresh. Lightly salted. Most definitely. Now, we got the peaklees right here. Some people usually make their peaklees. Some Haitians, they make their peaklees too spicy. I'm not a spicy peaklees lover. Some make it too spicy. Some make it tangy. I'm more of a tangy person. You know what I'm saying? More tanginess, less spice. Some people got their thing like super spicy. Like, I ain't on that, you feel me? No way, Jose. So I'm gonna take the pressed plantain. I'm gonna dip it in that peaklees. Get that tangy juice on there. Hit me, baby. Mm. This peaklees <clears throat> got a little spice to it. <clears throat> Feel it hit me in a little bit in the back of my throat, but it's not crazy, it's tolerable. But the tanginess, the tanginess, boy, that's what I like about peaklees. The tanginess, the spiciness, y'all can have that spicy stuff. I ain't on that spicy vibe. Spiciness gets them now. It's a little spicy. Ain't. It's taller. I can handle it. Some people having their spice so crazy, boy. No way. But it's not bad. I can deal with that. It's more tangy than spicy, so that's why I can deal with it. You feel me? They give you a lot of um, a lot of pressed plantain. You feel me? This is a good amount of food. But for twenty-two dollars, it should at least came. With that Haitian dealy jun jun, you heard? That's what I think, my opinion, you feel me? But it's not bad, it's not bad though, it tastes good. Think of the Creole, the fried pork. Hey, baby. <clears throat> it's tender. It's not fried too hard. Nor is it too soft. It's just right. The flavor's there. You gotta love it, Jerb. I know some of y'all out there don't eat pork. I do. I don't eat it all the time, but I do, you feel me? Especially some grill. I grew up off of grill, you feel me? My, my mama them, my parents them in the hood, little Haiti. Every Friday we used to eat, every Friday we used to eat grill, you feel me? Back in the days growing up. I love me some grill, boy. Now I'm gonna take the grill, I'm gonna dip it in that peak leaves. Put that little tanginess on there, you feel me? That thing dripping. I know the camera far away. I don't know you catch them little thing dripping. Hit that bit. Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. It's a good amount of food. We just need that DJ Jojo. We need that we need the rice and peas. Really DJ Jojo. But I'll settle for the rice and peas. It should have had that at least for the $22. I don't think it's right that you pay $22 and they ain't even come on no rice. But the food good though. They know what they're doing in there. They cooking, you feel me? Somebody back there, whoever making this food, putting the ingredients together, you feel me? They know something. But that price, because mm -mm. in Miami, I can get a grill complete for $13, 12 $13 at Libby Bill. You feel me? So I understand why it's so high up here. It's Palm Bay cost. Cost of living higher than Miami? I don't know. I don't know, fam. Here's another piece of that grill. I love with a grill. It's not fried too hard. Some people be frying anything so hard, make it hard to enjoy. In my opinion, you feel me? That's me. Some people, maybe some people like these fried. There is fried hard. But I think, in my opinion, when it's fried too hard, it make it hard for you to enjoy. You understand know me? Dip it in that pickle. stuff right now, fam. This was a good amount of food. That people needs hit. <clears throat> well, I made that people, they know what they doing. Got the right amount of tanginess in them. Good meal. Mm, yeah. Yeah. boy feeling right. I need somebody to come drive me now. I need somebody to come drive me, fam. I ain't gonna cap with y'all. And I still got enough left for later. You feel? But y'all fan, that's all I got for y'all today, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, you're new to the video, you like what you see, go ahead on and join the GTF. How do you join the GTF? By subscribing to the channel. What is the GTF? GTF is Grub Tent Family. We're family on this side, baby. You feel me? Just go ahead on and join the GTF. If you like the video, if you like the channel, man. For the original GTF members, the people that's already part of GTF, appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Go ahead on and like and share the video, you heard? I gotta get on down that road up and get to Orlando, you feel me? Appreciate y'all for tuning in, you heard? It's GTF for life.